Hey there, English word lovers. Welcome to Word Wave. I am Sara. And I am your teacher, Erica. This is the 20th episode of this series, and the word of the day is descry. Descry. A pretty interesting word, Sarah. Descry. Yes, descry. Descry is a verb, and it means to find something or someone by looking carefully. Yeah, when it's difficult to find something and you look carefully for it, it means to descry. In other words, it means to see something that is difficult to detect. Yeah, I mean, it's like catching sight of something. It could also mean to recognize something. Such as a pattern or a trend. Or even truth that is not immediately obvious. Descries is its singular present form. And described is its simple past and past participle form. Sarah, let's look at how it's pronounced, shall we? Yes, the pronunciation is de, scry, descry. The stress is on the second syllable. Scry, descry. Erica, let's look at some example sentences to see how it's exactly used in conversations, shall we? Yes, of course. Here's the first one. Browsing online, she often describes great deals that others might overlook due to plenty of options. This means she carefully chooses products with good discounts. Listeners, do you also describe for great deals while shopping online? Let us know in the comments. Yes, and also write down a sentence in the comments with descry. It will help you remember this beautiful word better. Yes, and we would love to read your comments. Here's the next example. The detective described a faint set of fingerprints on the window frame, overlooked by the initial investigation team. That's a good one. Here's one more. He carefully describes fluctuations in the stock market, always on the lookout for the best investment opportunities. I mean, you have to describe the stock market to find the best investment option. Here's one more. The accountant described signs of fraud in the company's financial records, hidden among the routine transactions. I must say the accountant had an eye for detail. So listeners, that's all for today in this episode of WordWave, where you learn one word at a time to boost your vocabulary and speak English confidently. We will catch up with you in the next episode of WordWave to learn one word at a time. Until then, happy learning. <laughs>